We'll do start with high five. Good job. Good job. Georgie, can you sit? I think they, they don't sit. And yeah, and she will sit if she's on the... Sit? Can you sit without a dog? Sit. Oh, well, that's both covered. Sophie is like really. She's very, <laughs> very uh, thin. So, with the high five, how we taught Dolce to do it is you don't ever want to force a dog to do something in order to teach them. Like, you can't force their butt down and then say, oh, good, sit, and then that's it. Like, you have to make them do it naturally and then reinforce that behavior. So, how we taught her is. You have a treat in your hand and you close your hand like this and you just hold it up to them and they'll sniff it and they'll lick it. She's like, what are you doing? And then eventually they'll paw at it and then you say, good girl. That was like almost rehearsed. That was really good. Um, and then you do that a bunch of times until she paws at it every time so that she knows, oh, when I paw at it, I get the treat. And you don't even say the word yet. You just do that. And then after a while, you have the treat in a different hand and you just hold out your hand and then she paws at it and you give it to her. And then eventually you have an open hand, like a high five, and then she'll paw at it. And then once she actually does the motion that you end up wanting her to do, then you re reinforce it with the word high five. And you give her a treat every time. So eventually she starts to know when you have an open hand and you say high five, that's what I need to do. And um, so it's honestly like when you first get them to do it, it's getting them so frustrated that like they're like, I want the tree, I don't know how to get the tree, until they do the behavior you want them to do. And that's how we also taught her how to speak, is you you have a tree and you just don't give it to her until she barks at you. Because she'll eventually get so frustrated that she's just like, Mah! and then you're like, good girl, and you give it to her. And then she's like, wait, is that what you wanted me to do? And then you do it again and again and again until you reinforce it with the command speak. Can, so, I, can I do this one? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. my granddaughter. <coughs> <laughs> don't check. Speak. She can't have the treat, and the word is okay. Good job. <laughs> she did not like it on her paw for a long time. She's like, Why is it there? It's so tempting. You want to do it again? Leave it. She won't even look at it. She's like, I just... <laughs> She was looking at me like, Can you help me out? Yeah. I'm like, no. So sometimes Clara and I will be talking to each other, like, Is it okay if I have this for dinner? And then he's like, I don't know, is it okay if I have this to drink? And then you say, okay. <laughs> yes, good girl, that was so good. So, um, dogs typically have mentality of a two-year-old. So you can't give them a, a, a lot of detail. You're gonna use specific commands every time. And sh positive reinforcement, because she's not gonna say, you gotta leave it, and all these words, blah, 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 that's what they hear. So <clears throat> you have to use really clear commands, and again, because uh, Julia is showing her dominance in a pack, she's providing the food, she's giving the command and giving all that. So Dolce recognize her as her as her leader. Um, do you want to do a uh, where is it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna go outside with you in the hall, and okay. then you hide these um, creatively. Don't just put it in some little pool. Like put somewhere mm -hmm. good. Okay. Um, Are you afraid of dogs, Chris? No, I'm not. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna go out into the hall, make sure she sees the <laughs> 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 <laughs>